When it comes to emitting or absorbing infrared radiation, the surface is really important. And in particular, dark matte surfaces are good absorbers and good emitters of infrared radiation. So when you go out on a hot day, and some sunny day, and you're wearing a black t-shirt, you warm up much quicker than if you were wearing light-colored clothes. Your black t-shirt is a good absorber, and a, okay, it is a good emitter of radiation as well, but it will first absorb the sun's heat before it starts to emit the heat as you warm up. On the other hand, light, shiny surfaces, so remember the color, the color and the texture is what we're talking about here when we talk about the surface. Light shiny surfaces are poor absorbers. They're poor absorbers and poor emitters of infrared. They are also good reflectors. So here are some examples. On, in hot countries, the houses are often painted a whitewashed, sort of white light colors. Why do you think this is? Well, the sunlight, first of all, we want to keep cool, really. So a white house is a poor absorber of infrared radiation. It's also a good reflector of infrared radiation. And, and make sure that you mention both things. Both the absorption is poor, but a good reflection. So we don't absorb as so much heat. Uh, here's another example. A shiny teapot is a, a shiny light colored surface or mirror surface and this is a poor emitter of radiation. Now when you put the hot tea in here you don't want the, the uh, heat energy to escape very quickly and so a light, a shiny surface is a poor, a poor emitter of infrared. Sometimes however we want objects to cool down as much as we can. The back of a refrigerator is we need to get rid of the, um, the heat from the inside of the refrigerator and that's, that's uh, given out by the, the fins at the back or the pipes at the back. And what color, are, what color are they painted? They're painted black. So it is a good, a good emitter of radiation. Now, there's not much radiation, infrared to absorb at the back of a refrigerator. There's no sunlight hitting it, usually. And so black is the obvious color to paint those. So I hope that makes sense. Um, please make sure you mention the keywords absorber, emitter, and whether the object is good or bad, absorber or emitter, um, and mention the color and the texture of the surface.